f, right? So then we take the a value, so this becomes 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, and 0. Okay, so I want to uh, mention one thing really quick. Don't, like, in this problem, since it's 15 times negative 7, you know that we're going to get a negative value at the end, right? Mm -hmm. What Another thing that happens on exams is students start to panic when they get to like, the second and third iteration, iteration, they still have a 0. But you see how by using this 1, 1, 1, 1, you can see how it'll, you know, eventually, it's by shifting it over, it's eventually setting up to carry. You guys see how that's, it's kind of working in your favor at the moment? Bless you. So don't panic if you get to this kind of step and it's still possible. <coughs> then this addition zero, one, 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 zero, zero, one. Shift right, this becomes zero, zero, one, two, three. One, 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 zero, and zero. Going to the third iteration. Zero, zero, one, 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 zero, and zero. What do we do in this situation? We're going to do nothing, right? Zero, zero, do nothing. <coughs> so then we just shift right. This becomes zero, 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 one, one. 1, 1, 1, 1, and 0. And then, last but certainly not least, we start our fourth iteration. It's 1, 0, so what do we do? P equals P plus S. And this becomes 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, and then four zeros, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. And, yeah, that's that's next step. Oh, you're, you're saying that's what you want to do? Okay. So then we shift right, maintain the integrity of the bit, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0. <coughs> 1. I'm sorry, that's 1. And then we drop the, the significant bit, and this is our result. So this is how you account for negative numbers in all of this. And it ended up working out, as you can see, we've got our negative value at the end. And this is correct. Yes? The fourth iteration? What do you mean? Where? where? Okay, so you're going to shift right as you normally do. And then in the last step, before you present your solution, you're going to drop the least significant bit from the product. These bits are your solution. This bit does not account. The, remember I was mentioning this in the last problem. You don't want to worry about this because if you do, then what happens is, okay, so this bit was put in, uh, it helps with actually making the algorithm work. It's a placeholder that's used to determine which step you want to do next, right? So we, that's why we use those two least significant bits to determine the next iteration. Now. Since, since we're done with the four iterations that we're going to want to do, we're going to uh, drop it. And the thing is, like, you're going to have some, if, you, if this is a zero here, it's the same, th remember how on uh, the other problems we talked about left shifting by two, or shifting left by two, or by one bit multiplies by two, shifting left by two bits multiplies by four. So if you had a zero here, you're actually multiplying the answer that you want by two. So you get a much bigger answer than you want. Yes. No, no, it's a one because this this bit comes here. It's a one here. 
So it stays on one. It stays that. It always stays at one. You always want to maintain it to be the same bit that you had before. You just add one. Yeah, then you're just adding another one. Yeah, that's that's. Remember that little step in the algorithm that I said. May, if if it's one, keep it one. If it's zero, keep it zero. That's why I put that in there to help you with that. <clears throat> These are good. Any other questions?